Hello guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how to install Reshade and use it on Sims 4. Uh, this tutorial will be quick, just make sure to subscribe and also leave a like if you will find this guide useful. First of all, you want to go to your browser, go to Reshade, and on Reshade you're going to click download button and here you will see Reshade 6.4.0. You want to go ahead and download it. I have downloaded to my desktop, here it is, a setup. You want to double click on it. After that, you need to choose the application. So you want to go ahead and browse. If you don't see here a uh, Sims 4, you want to go ahead and browse. And for me, Sims 4 is on my local disk C, then on program files. Uh, I use EA app for Sims 4. So it is for me on EA application, uh, on EA games then sims 4 and then game bin and then you will see this here you want to go ahead and click open and then you're going to click next after that you will need to choose either direct 10 11 or 12 or direct 9 it really depends on your pc and which version you have so i'm just going to choose this one and now you will have all of these effects you can go ahead and download. So you can go ahead through all of them. For example, it's here ambient light. Uh, you can go ahead and choose any of these. Obviously, the more you will select, the more it will go on your computer. So it may be overwhelming a little bit for your PC. But basically, I'm just going to go ahead and select some of those and then you're going to click next. Now we're going to click finish and then you want to launch the game. Now at the top you will see reshade already. If you don't see it just press home button. If you have a different keyboard you can click Fn and left arrow uh, and then you will have your home button. Now, after that, you will see all of your uh, add-ons right there. Now, from here, you will see the um, shaders. So, for example, let's go ahead and choose these ones and choose this depth one. After you click continue, then you will see all of these here. And you can go ahead and choose any of your, um, any shaders, basically. Let's go ahead and choose, for example, this one and maybe this one. And as you can see, it uh, changes already. So that's how it works. If this video was helpful, guys, make sure to subscribe and I will see you next time.